Make with the directions. It's second on the left. What's the matter? Having second thoughts? No. Hey, why don't we raise the dead? <laughs> That's the whole object of the exercise, John. <laughs> That's right. Get your act together, woman. <laughs> nice one. Any chance for fry up, Franny? <laughs> so where is it, Franny? This door to the nether world. <laughs> Over there in the corner. You'll have to move the table. <coughs> We need pieces of paper for the letters. Come on, come, come on, you bugger. <laughs> All hope abandon ye who enter here. <laughs> you got shut down there as a kid. It was only for a few minutes. It felt like a lifetime. No wonder you thought you saw a ghost. I've written out the letters for any. <laughs> You're not scared, are you? Of course not. For God's sake. What self-respecting spirit would want to be seen with a bunch like us? <laughs> Come on, Franny. Maybe it'll give us our finals results. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing as bad as that. <laughs> Too late anyway, they're probably already in the public. <laughs> <laughs> so much trying to get through. We're right over the central line. Oh, <laughs> well done, Susie. You've summoned up a tube train. Now nice try one. for a cross-channel ferry. <laughs> Six to summon and one to control. <clears throat> Come on, friend. Frenchman here. <laughs> non omnis moria. Who can remember their Latin? It's a line from Horace. It means I shall not altogether die. Wait, there's more. Huh? What is it? What's she saying? Prophecy. It wants to prophesy. Francesca, people want to order. Yes, sir. What would you like? We've got orange, freshly squeezed orange, Fanta, Coke, lemonade, milkshakes. Milkshake. We've got vanilla, raspberry, lime, chocolate. Chocolate. And you'd like... A 
espresso. Night, Declan. Come off it. I'm only offering a helping hand. <laughs> That's what worries me. Listen, I know you archaeologists are far too high-minded to fraternize with us mere librarians. It's rubbish. Well, slow down then. <coughs> Whoever he is, he can wait. If you wanted a date, you didn't have to go and join an orchestra. I'm just doing a favor for a friend. But I don't know why I have to explain myself to you. You're worse than my father. Well, I'll take that as an invitation to meet the folks. Must be love after all. Will you? Max? Why didn't you ask his name? What's the point? He's probably married anyway. Well, his wife might have dropped dead. You never look on the bright side, Franny. If you see him again, you go for it. Clemmy, stop that. Now. I saw Max Gabriel today. What's wrong with him? You've not heard? He's got leukemia. Here we are. Balding, 50. Not fat if stomach held in. Nice bottom, washes quite regularly. Oh, yuck. Female seeks to delight in Midlands. Bit out of your area, that. 
Distressed student urgently needs funds. Girl with cello. Are you the girl seen struggling down the platform of King's Cross Station carrying a cello on Thursday? Yes, please. Uh, may I? Sure. Thanks. What an advertisement. I didn't get a chance to talk to him. He was getting another train. He definitely wasn't a weirdo, I could tell. Just don't tell your father that I knew anything about it. He has enough on his plate, leaving this place and everything. Oh, she didn't take it so hard. Father's fault. He is so good. He is determined to show your father that he can build a business just as well in the new place. But I wish he did not insist on taking every last thing in this place with us. When they told us our lease was up, I thought it meant we could lease all new, but no. Now, is there anything in the cellar, Luigi? No, nah, but better to check. There's a light switch there somewhere. I don't play. I was just carrying it for a friend. Look, I, um, I kept thinking about you. I, I hope you don't mind. Um, I'm amazed I saw the ad. It was Edward's idea. Um, before we say anything else, I was wondering... I'm not, um, I'm not attached to anyone. Oh. Go on, tell me more. <laughs> There's nothing please, left. Please, please, please. We've talked about nothing but me all evening. That's because you're an incredible, wonderful, beautiful woman. Stop it. <laughs> Let's change the subject. I don't know anything about you. Well, uh, my name is Oliver Hawkin, and I'm a fortune teller. <laughs> what? No, I'm just trying to make it sound more interesting <laughs> than it actually is. No, I'm a statistician. I try and predict the risk level for the insurance business. No, not with a crystal ball, just a boring old calculator. Don't believe a word of it, darling. Seb! Well, look at you. Oh! I hardly recognised you with your clothes on. <laughs> Who's this? This is Oliver, a friend of mine. Still with the relics? Yeah. No kids or weddings? No. Not yet. Did you hear about Max? Yeah. Max and Jonathan in the same month. I couldn't get to the funeral, but I did send some flowers. But Max hasn't. No, Jonathan's. Oh. Didn't you know? God, I'm sorry. He was in Washington. He got mugged and they shot him. <laughs> Out on an apex and back in a box. That's awful. Jonathan. Sir! I I've got to go. I wish I could chat for longer. Let's keep in touch, Franny. Life is too short. You. I've called a taxi for you. I'm sorry. It was all going so well. well it doesn't have to end here. Look, if I invited you down to spend the weekend with us, would you have said yes? 
Lost me. Why? You live here. Well, mostly in this part. I have to open the rest of the public just to keep it going. Oh, it's about time. I've been waiting ages. Uh, Mrs. Bigbane says, could you call at the state office when you get back? Did she say what about? Lord of the Manor stuff. <laughs> right, I better get up there. Half an hour, I promise. I'm sure Edward can look after me. Daddy's arm to make him see you again. What do you mean? He thought you were nice. But he's very shy. So what did you do? I told him to put the advertisement in. He didn't think it would work. <laughs> do you know what that's called? It's lavender. Manaratra purpurea. That's auriculatum. You study Latin. I like the sound of the words. This is the chapel. What religion are you? I'm a Catholic. Really? All my family are. I expect you can still come in. That's our family motto over the door. Miss Moria. It means I shall not altogether die. Every Marquis of Sheffield's buried here, except for one. Your dad. He's not dead yet. I mean, the second Marquis. Nobody knows where he is. Shock everyone, then disappear forever. It's the kind of life to have. Here's my mother. Are you planning to sleep with my daddy? So, what's the story with the second Marquis? Oh, right. 
So what's Edward been telling you then? Why? Well, you see, the second Marquess was the black sheep to end all black sheep. He was a Satanist, a sadist, and a pedophile. Mm. And those were his good points. So which one's he? Oh, no, there's no portrait. No, no. They burned them all when he was murdered. That's the reason the whole family had to move out of London. What did Edward actually say? There's no need to worry, Oliver. We were just talking. He showed me the chapel. I sometimes think he has an unhealthy fascination for the gory detail. That's what children are like, weren't you? Yeah, I suppose so. I probably worry too much. Maybe I'm the one who needs a shrink. No, it's, it's all right. It's just something that happened after his mother died. Edward had a behavioural problem. I'm assured it's all part of the grieving process. Let's talk about you. I'm really very ordinary. Really? I saw somebody die when I was in France. It was a girl, swimming. The motorboat went right over her. Did it upset you? I didn't really know her. Then I saw my friend Dominic get three of his fingers cut off. Mm. He trapped them in a car door and they couldn't get it open. Mm, you're making my toes No, curl. it's true. I was there. <laughs> I didn't say you weren't. I'm always seeing bad things happening to people. Sometimes I dream it. Then I find out when it's actually happened. Isn't that spooky? Imagination's a powerful thing. Oh, I don't imagine it. I keep records. Edward, is this something that started when your mum died? These are the plum trees. The Victorias are the best. They edible. <laughs> Ripe ones are. Have any of your friends died? Yes. But that was nothing to do with you. Don't worry, Edward. There's nothing wrong with you. But, but was it before you met me or after? Ow! Oh! Oh, there's a wasp in it! Oh! Ow! Oh. You know, it doesn't look as bad as it probably feels. <laughs> I hope not. I'll call the doctor. You're not allergic or anything, are you? Well, I'll call him anyway. Not the best way to end the weekend, is it? Hope it hasn't put you off. Oh. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs>
Fanny, it's me. It's Phoebe. Hi. I've got to talk to you, Fanny. What about? Oh, come on. And then there were three. Meredith dead. Jonathan dead. Max died. And Susie. What happened? The virus damaged her eyes. She's completely blind now. See? Three of us left. Out of what? Out of the people at the seance. I know all about the scrapbook, so don't worry about it. But he'd cut a piece out about someone I knew. Yeah, if it's a bizarre death, um, he clips it. I I've been through it all with the doctors. It's supposed to be his way of trying to make sense out of something senseless. You see, um, no child should ever have to see what he saw. He watched his mother die. Can you talk about it? Well, she was on her way to meet us, and, uh, and she was, um, killed crossing the road. It was all over in a second. Wasn't even sure if Edward had taken it all in. He was very young. School's finished. My aunt brought me last night. Daddy's going to take me back to Meston. He's gone to get the papers. Did you hear us come in? You haven't got any underwear on. I know. Won't you get cold? I didn't expect you to be here. Things I have to do. I still wish you were coming. I can tell you things. I heard about your mother. I'm so sorry. It was a long time ago. I think I might have been there when it happened. I know. You were the waitress. Daddy hasn't remembered. I haven't told him. Why not? I don't want to upset him. It might scare him off you. And you wouldn't want that? I don't know how to explain it. I do have these bad thoughts about people sometimes. And then things... things just happen. got to give me an honest answer, Edward. Some of these 
thoughts seem to be about people I know. Have you ever had them about me? I don't mean them. It's like... Like they come from someone else. Do you know who? Francis. Francis Hawking. The second Marquis. An ominous Moriar. This is the only Hawkeye we'll have on this site. I think there's some books and silverware up in Oxford. Most of the stuff has either stayed with the family or found its way into private hands. But this is the piece that belonged to the second Marquis. It's a Maleficarum, an instruction manual for satanic rituals, dated of around 1650. Family tradition held that it was written on human skin. Is that true? I don't know. The second Marquis was executed by Cromwell's soldiers in the cellar of his own home. The same room he used for satanic rituals and rogering young boys. They hot-coloured him. Do you know what that means? Like Edward II. Thereby proving that the way to a man's heart truly is through his stomach. At least when you're using a poker. I should imagine he went down cursing. This book was discovered in, uh, if you'll pardon the expression, the family seat. Hidden in one of the walls by the brother who'd inherited. Turned up when the house had to be demolished after the fire. But the house is still standing. Well, not the country house. This was the town house. It stood in the city. Where in the city? Poulter's Alley. What? coming around from the anaesthetic. Fanny. Really, she's in no state. Fanny. Oh, Zeb. Find Susie. Ask her about the prophecy. He's going to try and get us all. Please. If you'll just come with me. Right, fine. See you. Car to the main doors, please, Joe. City Airport in 20 minutes. Uh, um, Mr. Holland, please.
I don't want to do this. I don't know as much as you think. You knew enough to run the sale, Susie. You were in charge. And what was that? It was a glass and some cards. It was a game. You didn't think so at the time. And I don't believe you think so now. Six of us are dead or damaged. And I'm the next one in line. You said all our futures were in the message. If only you could work out how. Well, God Almighty, you've got enough to go on now. What's supposed to happen to me? I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm scared, Franny. <laughs> I remember I couldn't work it out. <laughs> Nothing I could see in it made any sense except for mine. And you know what that was, just one word. Dark. But it wasn't wrong, Susie. He was telling us what he was going to do to us. We're the ones who let him out. Edward's the source of his power, and Hawkins using him to get rid of all the witnesses. Then what? Then there'll be nothing to stop Francis Hawkins coming back into this world. What do you want to ask? I want my prophecy. I want to know what he has planned for me. Two. Six. Twenty-six. Does that mean anything? I'm frightened, Freddy. It's very close. <laughs> it's all right. No! Edward's gone missing. I, I thought it might be him. You called the police? Yeah, they're here now. I won't keep you. I know you'll be worried. But I've got to say something. Um, come over. I can't. We're all in danger, Oliver. Francis Hawkins been using Edward. But he's been getting to him through me. I'm the one who's possessed. I'm his way back into the world. And I've got to stop him. Goodbye, Oliver. Come on, girl. Let's settle this. Non omnis moriar. 
It means that... I know what it means. I can't imagine a worse place to play the Ouija. All that hideous energy latent in these walls. And seven children who knew no better. Pulling it all into focus. I'm sorry. For everything. Don't judge yourself, Francesca. It's not for you to take the blame alone. What will we do? We're going to say a requiem mass for the soul of Francis Hawkins. At work. Just a few prayers. As compared to what? The power of seven drunks on a wine glass? I think we're in with a chance. Tube train. Central line. Consciousness of a young child is not fully developed until at least the age of seven. Here, the evil forces saw a child who was not only young, but was also a direct descendant of the second Marquis. By using you as a channel, it could slowly enter the mind of that child, test the boy out without him realizing, until he became used to it, accepting him as a part of himself. Then what? Then there would come a point where he no longer had any need for you. Are you ready, Francesca? Protect us, O oh Lord, we beseech thee. Protect us, O oh Lord, we beseech thee. Hear us, O oh Lord as we humbly beg your mercy, that the soul of your servant, Francis Edward Alwyn Halkin, whom you have called from this life, may be brought by you to a place of peace and light. Receive, O oh Lord, the soul of your servant Francis, for whom your blood was shed. Grant him eternal rest, and perpetual light shine upon him. to have mercy and to spare. Grant your servant Francis. Protect us, O Lord, we beseech thee. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. This is the blood of Christ. Grant that our brother Francis may take his seat with Christ at his eternal banquet, who lives and reigns forever and ever. It's not only evil that can work its way through the lives, lives of others, Franny. <laughs> it's 
it's all right now. Isn't it funny? When's Edward coming home, Mummy? He'll be home at the end of term. He'll play with you then. He won't. He never wants to. When Daddy dies, will Edward be a lord? When your dad dies, it won't be for a long time, Charles. Then Edward will inherit the title. What if Edward dies before that happens? Nothing's going to happen to Edward, Charles. Would I have to be Lord Sheffield then? Charles, end of subject. What would the next Lord have to be called? What do you mean? Say it would be me. What number would I be? 26. You'd be the 26th Marquis of Sheffield.